Hello guys and welcome to today's episode where today we are literally going to be doing a response video to Generals Tony Top 5 Most Unexplained Things Within Clash of Clans So basically I am just going to be responding to that video, he obviously doesn't know about this but uh, immediately when I saw that video, I was like, okay, I know most of these answers, so I am going to respond to this video. Uh, I'm not quite sure what the title is going to be yet, but uh, yeah, this episode should be quite interesting. So I am going to be going through these top five. Now, I don't have an explanation for every single one of these, but I have one for uh, most of them. So let's just get right into this. Now, for the first one, I will have to pop up an image on your screen right about now. And this is an image where some player got 2,500 gems. And that is basically, uh, it says something like donated by Supercell. I'm not quite sure. I don't have the image in front of me right now. But it says something, it should say something like you received 2,500 gems, uh, a donation by Supercell, something along those lines. And basically, I think I have an explanation for this. Now, this explanation is kind of weird because you may have noticed this guy is in Gold League. And so I'm not quite sure if this is correct what I am saying, but let's just go ahead and have a look at my theory. So let's go ahead into the top leaderboard, so actually in the top clans. Now if you have a look at the top right of your corner, you will see, of your screen, sorry, you will see that the top three clans get a certain amount of gems. If they get, uh, yeah, in the top three basically. Now the first clan gets 50,000 gems divided by the top 20 players of the clan. So at the top it says, the top three clans receive divided equally among the top 20 players of the clan. Number one, 50,000 gems. Number two, 30,000 gems. And number three, 15,000 gems. So basically my theory is that this guy was in the top clan, so basically in the first worldwide clan and he ended this season in that clan and so uh, the clan got 50,000 gems obviously divided amongst the first 20 players within the clan and so if you actually do the maths and you do 50,000 divided by 20 you will get a total of 2,500 gems. So that could be the explanation. I think that is the explanation because I can't really see how you could get those gems in another way because obviously there is no sort of achievement of saying get into the top clan uh, and I don't know, win it, I, win the uh, leaderboards. I'm not quite sure. There is nothing like that in the achievements. So I think that is a pretty legitimate explanation. Let me know what you guys think on this. Do you think my actual thought is correct or not? Please do make sure to let me know down below in the comment section now moving on to the next one this has to do something with the single player maps now let me actually go ahead and uh, find the map and but i'll be right back with you guys because i'm not quite sure in which map this is but once i find this i will be right back okay so here we go guys this one is in the goblin picnic now what this is is this is an easter egg but superstar has not removed it so let me just go ahead and show you what the actual easter egg is so what you want to do to activate this easter egg is to actually break through some walls first so let's just do this dropping in two wall breakers on this mortar side right here and uh, two more wall breakers on this cannon uh, and one more over here so they break through those walls and now we are able to break through the walls on this statue so let's go ahead and drop three wall breakers there you go this statue is now open and we will be deploying another wall breaker have a look at this one more wall breaker there is a small present spawning and we will have a little santa right here so this santa basically deploys some presents and all of that stuff and then he flies away but this is a cool little easter egg and basically Supercell hasn't removed this yet and uh, Tony wasn't quite sure why that is because they have actually dropped many easter eggs and then they basically removed them after a short period of time now why I think this is still in the game is because uh, a few years ago they had a spell that was literally the exact same thing there was a Santa and he uh, basically dropped all of these presents as you saw a, some moments ago and then those presents did loads of damage to the base obviously at the spot where the spell was dropped and I think Supercell just kept this to be sort of like a um, reminder to the spell that was in the game and used to be in the game because it is a small fun little feature I'm quite sure that is the case but you guys obviously may have another opinion so please do make sure to let me know down below in the comment section but I think that is pretty legitimate as well now my Wi-Fi is not really all that good again so I'll be right back with you guys for the next one in a few moments time okay so I am back and now for this next one you will see on the top left of your corner you may see a uh, red button now I'm not quite sure if you guys have it because obviously 
I do not have your accounts, but I'm quite sure you may have gotten this little button, and uh, some people don't know what this red button actually is, and uh, here I am to just show you guys what this is all about, and now if you just go into your social, you will see there is a small little number, obviously depending on the number of requests you have gotten, the number will be according to that one obviously, and uh, let's go ahead and go into social, and you will see in the friend request spot, you will see there is a small little number and a red sign, and that is basically what this uh, red little dot is, now you, as you saw, it just went away because I saw the friend request and from who it is, so it now vanished, but that is basically what this small red dot is, and and uh, yeah, so in case you guys didn't know that, there you go. And uh, yeah, that is pretty interesting. Now, moving on, we have something I really cannot explain. These two next things I can't explain. I do have some sort of theory, but I'm not quite sure if that is correct. Pretty sure that is not legit. Now, let's just move on and go ahead into a clan because that is where I want to show you the next thing. And let's go ahead and actually go into my clan bookmarks. Now, this is in this clan. I think it's a Spanish clan. And yes, I am correct. Now this clan is pretty weird because it has three leaders for some reason, so here we go. This is the first leader, Eloy, then this is the second leader uh, called I, and then where is the third leader? Let's actually go ahead and find him, not quite sure where he is, probably at the very bottom. Where is he? Where is he? Can't really find him. Did I skip him or something? Um, where is he? I really don't know. Maybe they only have two leaders. Not quite sure though, maybe, I'm quite sure I may have missed him, so let's have a look again, so um, there is one leader right here, so this is the first one, Eloy, then we have I, and then I can't really see another person, so um, yeah, I think they only have two leaders, but that is still a good amount of leaders, because as you may know, in your clan, most likely there is only one leader, and uh, I really don't know what to say to this, I may have a sort of a theory, and uh, let me just tell you guys this theory, so basically I think it may have been possible that back in the day once the game was fresh, once it was new, you may were uh, able to sort of promote some other person to leader, so basically there was one leader, and then that one leader was able to promote other people to leaders as well. So that may have been the case, I can't really think about anything else, so um, yeah, that, there you go, I, I really don't have an explanation for this one. And for the next one, let's move on to the next one, obviously. Uh, the next one has to do with the gem boxes, I have a gem box up here, and I have kept it up here for over a year. Yes, believe it or not, if you actually go to my first ever video, you will still see this gem box up in this corner. And I am just keeping this because I really love this spot. It is in the most perfect spot you can imagine, I mean it is on the most very top of the base and uh, it is a a absolutely in the corner so that is really cool. I don't really need the uh, few gems, the 25 gems from the gem box, I don't really mind those so I just keep the gem box over there for uh, over a year I've kept it there as already mentioned but I will keep it there forever. Okay but basically what this is all about, obviously I've been talking about the gem box but what the weird thing about this and what the unexplained thing about this is, is um, people don't get this gem box regularly. So there is not a uh, sort of date where you will be getting the gem box. Uh, some players may get it once every week, some others may get it uh, every two weeks, then every three weeks, then every other week. I don't know, it's kind of weird, it's not in a sort of pattern, but what I may think is the explanation towards this is maybe every player will be getting the same amount of gems by the end of the year. So let's say every single player starts playing at January and they get their first gem box on January. Now let's say one player gets their second gem box on the 7th of January and the other player gets it on let's say the 10th of January. Now I think every single player will be getting the exact same amount of gems by the end of the year. So I'm not quite sure how to explain this but uh, it, it will be adding up to basically the exact same gem box amount that people will get. So um, let's say one player gets a gem box the first week and the other player doesn't. The other player will most likely be getting a gem box uh, two times in one week and the other one only one week. If that makes any sense, not quite sure how to really explain this. It is kind of confusing. I would have to make some sort of table of contents to explain this, but this is way too difficult to do and uh, so I do not have the time for that. But I hope you guys sort of understood how this is working. If not, then do let me know down below in the comment section and I will try to explain it uh, further on in the next episode. 
And so yeah, guys, this is going to be it for this episode. I really do hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please do make sure to smash that like button. Also, comment down below which one of these you think uh, my theories were legitimate on. Basically, my opinion is that on the first one it was legit, on the second one it was legit, and on the third one, the third one must be legit. I mean, uh, it is literally this red dot up here, and you go into social, and you can see the friend request. And wow, we got a friend request by Smithy. That is really awesome. I will be accepting him in a moment. But anyways, I just want to end off this episode here. And so also, if you haven't subscribed already, please make sure to subscribe to my channel for daily content. Also, if you are already subscribed, make sure to press that notification button, basically the bell next to the subscribe button so you are notified every single time i upload a video and that is obviously daily besides mondays from now on from now on i will be taking a break off of mondays because uploading every single day is sort of stressful and so i do need some time to study obviously so i think i will be taking a break off of mondays at least for a few weeks and then i may come back at it on mondays but anyways that is going to be it all for this episode really do hope you enjoyed and with that being said i'll see you next time peace out